Welcome back to Pocket Run. Hey, where are you going? It's just math. Don't run away. Hey, hey. Oh, well. We are on 34B. Okay, we're going to be graphing circles and ellipses today. You have already graphed a line, like the equation y equals 2x plus 1. Remember, the general equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. You've learned how to graph that. The equation of a circle can look two different ways. It can look like this, x squared plus y squared equals 4. This will determine your center of your circle, and this will determine your radius. Notice how the circle equation of a circle is different from a line. Your x is squared and your y is squared. Now look at this form of an equation of a circle. x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared equals 9. Again, this number tells you what your radius will be. These numbers here will tell you the center of the circle. You see you'll still have an x squared and a y squared term. Over here, here is your general equation of a circle. x minus a parentheses squared plus y minus b parentheses squared equals r squared. Again, this number, when you take the, num the square root of the number out here, that tells you your radius. This number and this number tells you the center of your circle. This is the coordinate of the center for your x-coordinate. This goes going to go with your y. A goes with x, B goes with y. This is your y coordinate at the center of your circle. The one thing to know about the general equation of a circle, it's very important to know that this has to be a subtraction sign and this has to be a subtraction sign in order for A and B to be positive. That is just the way the equation, the general equation is. So just know this has to be a subtraction sign and then A is a positive number. This has to be a subtraction sign and then B is a positive number. Okay, so in this form, your center is positive A, positive B, just like here, the center being positive A, positive B. Let's go back over here to this equation. X squared plus Y squared equals four. If you wrote it in the general form, X minus zero, because if you have X and take nothing away, you still have X. If you have Y and you take nothing away, you still have Y, so that's how you would end up with X squared, Y squared. And so this shows you that the center of your circle is zero, zero. Whenever you do not have any parentheses here, the center of your circle will be the origin. So down here on number three, you can write the center is zero, zero. I am going to skip number one and number two. I'm not even gonna do those because you don't need to know, that, know how to do that to know for graphing a circle. For graphing a circle, you just need to know the center and you need to know the radius. Your radius is determined by this number out here. You take the square root of this number. The square root of 4 is 2, so your radius is 2. Now that you know the center is the origin, you can plot that point and then you can count the radius. So up on your graph, you know the center is the origin. Your radius is 2, so in every direction you can count out 2. 1, 2, there's your point. 1, 2, your radius is 2. 1, 2, I'll just count out on the axis, 1, 2. So I went out 2 in every direction of my axis, and now that is my circle. Again, when it's in this form, x squared plus y squared, and there's no parentheses, your center will always be the origin. Okay, let's go over to this equation right here. When it's in this form, remember these numbers here determine your center. But it's very important for there to be a subtraction sign. If there's a subtraction sign here, then this number is going to be the coordinate. There is not a subtraction sign here, but we can put one because we can say x minus a negative 3. Okay, you should agree that x minus a negative 3 minus a negative now becomes a positive, and that would be a plus sign. So we can rewrite that portion of the equation with a subtraction sign. Now that this has a subtraction sign and this has a subtraction sign, you use these numbers right here for the coordinates of the center of your circle. So my x coordinate for the center is negative 3. So I can write down here negative 3. For the, and then going back to the equation, for my y coordinate, if this is a subtraction sign, then that means my y coordinate is a positive 4. So I know the center is negative 3, positive 4. I get my radius from this number here. You take the square root of it. The square root of 9 is 3. So the radius is 3. So if you, as long as you write your circle, the equation of your circle in this general form, you will be able to see what the center is and you will be able to see what the radius is. 
The important thing is this has to be a subtraction sign here and a subtraction sign here, and then you just use the numbers that you have here for the center. So now that we know the center is negative 3, positive 4, so go over negative 3 in the x direction, up positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we said our radius was 3. From that point, you just count off exactly to the right and left, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now go up and down from the center, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then that is your circle. We are on 34B. Okay, we're going to be graphing an ellipse now. This is an equation for an ellipse. How do you know that? I didn't say this before, but do you see these coefficients? You have a 3 in front of your x squared and a 2 in front of your y squared. Ellipse still has an x squared and a y squared, just like a circle. But the one thing that is different from an ellipse, an ellipse from a circle, is your coefficients are different. Ellipses will have different coefficients. Circles will have the same coefficients. The problem we just worked, the coefficients in front of the x squared and y squared were a 1. So they had the same coefficients. Here the coefficients are different and that's how you know it's an ellipse. An ellipse has an x squared and a y squared and different coefficients. So ellipses, they do not have a radius, so you can't take the square root of this to try to figure out the radius. All right. But for all these ellipses, because there's no parentheses, the center is going to be the origin. Okay, for everything in this lesson, for all the ellipses, your center will be the origin. So you can go ahead and plot your center up here as the origin. That's the center of your ellipse. But now we've got to figure out um, the axis points. So an ellipse is like an oval, so we've got to figure out, does our oval go this way or does it go up and down? What does our oval look like? Okay, so down here on your problems for number 11, it already says the figure is and, and you already know it's an ellipse because the coefficients are different. So this is how you figure out the axis points. Number 9 says if x equals 0, then what does y equal? Okay, so we're going to go let x equals 0. In other words, put in 0 for x. So we put in 3 times 0 squared plus 2y squared equals 12. 3 times 0 squared, I'm putting in 0 for x plus 2y squared equals 12. What happens to this term? It goes away. 0 squared is just 0, and 0 times anything is still 0, so that goes away. So all you're left with is 2y squared equals 12. Okay, so then what do we do? We divide both sides by 2 because we're trying to solve for y. So that goes away. So basically we have y squared equals 6. y squared equals 6. Now how do you solve for y? You take the square root of both sides. Take the square root. The square root of y squared is y. And then when you take the square root of 6, you put plus or minus in front of it. So it's a plus or minus. And then use your calculator to determine the square root of 6. I'm doing that right now. It's going to be like 2 point something. Patience. Um. Two point four. So the square root of six is two point four. So in other words, when x is zero, y is a positive two point four and a negative two point four. So you can plot that on your graph. When x is zero, y is a positive two point four. So go up here when x is zero, meaning don't go anywhere in the x direction, y is a positive two point four. One, two, and go about point four. That would be that point right there. That's 0, 2.4. x is 0, y is 2.4. Then it also says when x is 0, y is a negative 2.4. So x is 0, don't go anywhere in the x direction, then go down 1 to a negative 2.4, and that will be about right there. Okay, so now we have two points, but we need two points on here, on the x-axis. So to determine the x-axis, we let y equal 0. So we're going to let y equal 0, put in 0 for y. So then we would have 3x squared, putting in 0 for y, means we have 0 for y. 0 squared is 0, 0 times 2 is just 0, meaning that term goes away. So then we're left with 3x squared equals 12. So we have to divide both sides by 3. So then we're left with x squared equals 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4. We take the square root of both sides to solve for x. Square root of x squared is just x. 
square root of 4 plus or minus 2. So when y is 0, x was a positive 2 and a negative 2. So we can plot that on our graph. So basically what we're saying is when x is 2, well you remember you got to do your x coordinate first when you're plotting your points. If you want to draw it in a little chart like this, when y is 0, x was a positive 2. When y is 0, x was a negative 2. Now you can graph those points right there. You're graphing 2, 0, negative 2, 0. So up here we're graphing when x is 2, 1, 2, y was 0. When x is negative 2, 1, 2, y is 0. I went over negative 2 and didn't go up and down in my y direction. And so that's how you plot the points for your ellipse.